Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I switched from Sony Vegas to Adobe Premiere. And I'm going to be talking about which one is better. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you guys might recall, several years ago, I made the switch from Sony Vegas to Adobe Premiere. And I made a video saying that I'd still make Sony Vegas tutorials. Well, that never really happened because the more and more I started using Adobe Premiere, more and more I actually started to like Adobe Premiere. So let's start off by talking about why I even considered making a switch from Sony Vegas. As many of you know, I was a Sony Vegas guy. I knew Sony Vegas like the back of my hand. And I could get around really quick, really easy. There were things I knew how to do extremely well in Sony Vegas. The reason I even considered switching from one platform to another is I was kind of getting a bored of Sony Vegas. The UI and user experience needed a refresh. And it hadn't really had a refresh, I don't think, ever. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about new features. It seems like with every new version of Sony Vegas, we got new features. We never really got an improvement on the user interface. It was always based on that same interface. And it was just so boring. It's like, you know what, there's probably better options out there. The other reason I even considered switching was I was a Final Cut Pro guy. I had edited on Final Cut Pro before. I wanted something that was more like Final Cut Pro. Sony Vegas was a great one to get me started and it really got me into editing and I was doing all my YouTube videos in Sony Vegas and I could do them fast in Vegas. It wasn't Final Cut though. You know, there were shortcut keys I kept trying to do inside of Final Cut that just don't exist inside of Sony Vegas. And yes, I know you could remap the keys, but it just seemed like a big pain in the butt. I wanted something that had the feel right out of the box of Final Cut. So those are the reasons why I kind of even considered switching. So I was watching a video a few years ago by the name of Dave Dugdale. He's learningvideo.com. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below if you're interested in checking out. He did a video about why he decided to make the switch from Sony Vegas Pro to Adobe Premiere. And that's what ultimately got me started thinking down that track. And he was showing off some things inside of Adobe Premiere. And it really just made me decide, you know what, maybe it's time. Maybe I go ahead and I make the switch. At the time, Sony Vegas Pro 10 was the most recent version that I can recall. So Pro 10 came out, it was the 3D one as I like to call it. Now I continued a few more months down that path of using Sony Vegas after seeing that video, but I always kept coming back to that video and really kept intriguing my mind with the possibility of switching. So. A few months later, around April timeframe, I decided to really take a serious look at a new video editing software. And I went ahead and downloaded the trial version of Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. And I gotta tell you, from the moment I opened it up and I just started, I took an old video that I had edited years ago, just brought in all the original files and I started cutting something in it. And I, I felt at home, you know? And then I went online as I was doing things, I was looking up on YouTube, how to do this, how to do that. And before you know it, I just found myself getting more and more comfortable. Like one of the things I learned is that you can actually remap the keys from the Premiere Pro keys to the Final Cut Pro 7 keys, which it was like, Oh my God, even more reason to switch. And it was just one thing after another, after another, after another of things that just made it so much easier to edit inside of Adobe Premiere. Now, I will say, that's my story. 
it's not going to be the same for you. You might decide Avid is better for you. Personally, my computer couldn't support Avid, much less can it support any NLE. And I'm not going to go that far. Premiere works. It works really well. And it's just what I have decided to stick with. I've had every version of Adobe Premiere. And I don't foresee myself changing off of that path. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers use Sony Vegas. And believe me, Sony Vegas is a great video editor. I'm not knocking Sony Vegas. My only reason for switching was just I wanted something more than what Vegas was giving me. So, let's talk about the pros of Sony in Vegas and the pros of Premiere Pro. The pros of Sony Vegas are it's easy. If you are a first time user of an NLE non-linear editor, this is going to be the version for you or the program for you, I should say. This is not a program for massive editors. This is not something I would cut a professional Hollywood film in, but I did cut a short film all inside of Sunny Vegas and it turned out really well. So that's one thing. The other thing between that Sunny Vegas kind of has going for is there's tons of information on how to do things in there. You search Sony Vegas in YouTube and you, I swear you will get 9 million tutorials. Some of those are mine, you know? So one of my most popular videos on this channel was a multi-cam editing video that I did inside of Sony Vegas because I went looking for it, couldn't find it. I had bought the professional uh, training from Sony to learn how to do it and I just retaught it. And it was the most popular video I ever had. I think to this day it has over 20,000 views on that one video. It's insane. I'll link it down in the video description. I will warn you the audio is a little bad just because it's a little too loud. I forgot to mix it down when I exported. But other than that, it's a great video. So that's the pros of Sony Vegas. It's great for beginners. But if you're looking for something more, if you want something that's used in Hollywood, if you want something that is well regarded in the industry, seriously take a look at Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is really worth taking a look at. Now they do have two versions of Adobe Premiere. There's Adobe Premiere Elements and there's Adobe Premiere Pro. Premiere Elements, while it's intended for the really basic edits it's kind of a laughing joke in the industry because it's so watered down no professional will use that if you are really serious look at premiere pro a lot of people think premiere elements oh it's going to be like movie studio or platinum you know all those other versions of sony Vegas. it's not it's a very watered down version of Premiere and it's just not apples to apples. Definitely Premiere Pro is where I plan to stay. That's my story. I hope you guys thought this video was kind of informative and cool. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.